Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. I am super hyped because it is Vlogmas day two, um, but today we're doing floss tube. So grab a drink. I have a drink um, based on a challenge from my floss tube. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch my floss tube. Okay, so a couple things. I was unable to announce it last time, so it's, I'm going to announce it now. Oh my God, I'm missing half my stuff. We'll be right back. I'm back. So, a couple things. I was unable to announce last week. Remember when I held up that piece of paper and I was like, whoa, whoa. So, um, I actually designed a few cross stitch patterns. So, um, this is going to lead me into um, what I'm doing right now. I have been um, working on one of these cross stitch patterns for a really long time and it finally came together. And then the other one was like, uh, a brain baby that popped in and I immediately got to work on it so I'm trying to center myself here so I have anyways so I also have a full-on finish which just happens to be my design obviously because you know have to fall on finish your design and I have another finish and I have several whips so um, here we go I designed my own cross stitch patterns and I am so, so, so proud of this one. This one is my full on finish. Um, these are New Year's themed. I wanted to get a jump on New Year's because I haven't seen too many New Year's patterns and maybe I'm not looking in the right places, um, but it was really important for me to not put pressure on myself to design patterns for the winter season because the winter season is now. So, and technically this is winter season because, you know, New Year's happens in January and for at least my hemisphere, um, January is considered winter. So without further delay, this is, oh, don't look at my messy desk. I guess I'm gonna have to pop it out. Um, without further delay, brings more delay. Um, I have three patterns to show you, three new, new releases. Um, I'm gonna pop it out. <clears throat> here it is so it says happy new year we are doing this again and, and then we've got some balloons that say 2022 and then my champagne and my champagne glass and that is my cat Caesar he's got his eyes narrowed at you we are doing this again so Caesar is my cat and like most cats he's super indifferent to everything so the inspiration behind this was cat a Caesar celebrates with much hate or disinterest. So Caesar is not pleased that we are going to be starting another year. Um, I have, where's my pattern for it? Right here. I gotta be careful because now I'm messing with glass. Um, <clears throat> so this is my pattern for it and I did want to read you this little bit here. So the design size is 91 by 62 centimeters. It, uh, stitches, sorry. <laughs> 91 centimeters, oh my God. Um, 14 count Ada, um, I have, this is six and a half by four and three eighths. Um, that's all I'll say for that. Um, and then as far as design, design is charted on 14 count black Ada with all three, with all colors DMC. However, I design this piece to be fully customizable. Use whatever fabric colors and floss colors or specialty threads speak to you. So now here is where I, as a designer, a person who designs cross stitch patterns, um, I, I took a little bit of creative liberty for myself and for you. So all of these colors are DMC that I have charted it in. So you can take a look at that really quickly. This is all DMC. Um, but I wanted to make it budget friendly. So I did a cheap Ada cloth called for fabric and DMC. And because it's so little, you, I literally, my mother-in-law picked this frame up at the dollar store. So and it fits in, I think this is a five by seven. I'm pretty sure it's a five by seven frame. So, um, and you can put it on your wall and you can have Caesar with you wherever you go. <laughs> no, but, <clears throat> so I did want to mention a couple things because as a diamond painter, um, I am used to being able to bouge up. I'm, I'm used to being able to like make things extra fancy. So of course I designed it all in DMC, but that doesn't mean you have to do DMC. There are so many options for specialty threads also at the same time. And you'll see with my other design here in a minute that um, the colors that I think of when I think of New Year are gold and silver. So that's why we have the gold, 
numbers and the letters and then the gold and the silver here. That is why we have these colors for me. So if when you think New Year's, you think of different colors, please use different colors. So that's kind of what I wanted to get into really quickly. So um, <clears throat> I stitched mine on 14 count black Ada and converted 834 to a petite treasure blade called uh, Seashell. That is the gold that I worked with. And then I also used a petite treasure blade in place of 3024 on the balloon strings and the champagne bottle and the glass. Um, I know that long stitches aren't a favorite, so I left the balloon strings as full crosses in the chart. I chose to make mine long stitches, and you may as well. Um, this design contains only a small amount of back stitching, the back stitching being his little leggies here, his little mouth, and his whiskies. Those are long stitches, actually. Well, I mean, call it what you want. Anyways, that is what my little baby looks like. Um, I'll show you what I mean by the balloon strings right now too as well really quickly so without showing you <clears throat> the entirety of my pattern. I design these as full cross uh, because I know that not a lot of people are into back, um, long stitches and that's totally fine. Um, I wanted it because it made it look more like balloons but that's totally, totally up to you. So um, this is available in my Etsy shop, which is always linked in the description box. Um, I also have two more designs to show you. Um, this one is my favorite. This is the one that came together last minute, weirdly enough. This one came together in like an idea and then I got to work on it and it was done, you know? Um, there was, uh, designing wise. There was a lot of back and forth with some of the colors I chose, specifically for um, Caesar himself. I was picking colors that were matching my cat, and it was fine for me, but it would have been impossible for you to be able to, th the colors were getting lost within each other. They were blending really well, which is good, but also not good at all. So um, another thing I wanted to mention, if you have a black cat, do it on a white Ada or something like that. If you have um, a white cat, you know, convert it, make your, make Caesar your cat, do your version of your cat. That's all. I don't know. I just, I would like to see more cats. I am always a fan of stitching cats as you'll see here in a minute. <laughs> um, so design number two. Oh, hold on. These are some of the colors I used for Caesar. Um, I think he is stitched uh, I think he's got, so this is what my pattern looks like. It says Caesar celebrates new year. That's the title of my pattern. Here's the picture. I printed this in black and white. If you print yours in color, it'll be in color though. Um, and then the blurbs that I read you and oops, um, he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He has a total of 10 colors. Um, No, just kidding. I lied. He has 11 colors, um, but the amount that you use of them is so little that if you wanted to stitch all of Caesar, you would, you could convert it because you're only going to need a couple stitches of the pink for his little ears and his little, um, nose, but look at his little nose. He's a good baby. Um, yeah, so if you wanted, if Caesar is something you want to stitch for all of the holidays, you would probably only need to buy one of whatever colors you adapt for Caesar and it'll be good. So next up, I have two more patterns and these are one and the same. So I'm kind of going to kind of show you them, um, as if they were one and the same. So I obviously started working on one of them. I was unable to finish in time for launch. I launched on the 19th of November, um, right after I filmed last week's last floss too. So obviously a lot has, a lot has transpired, but I was in the middle of both of these when I showed you and I was able to finish one. So good for me. <laughs> I'm really happy about that. So here are my next patterns. Um, this, this one is inspired by self love. So I'm going to show you what, the dirty one looks like first. This one says, New Year, say me bitch, and it's got some fireworks. And then if you're not comfortable saying bitch, then you can use New Year, say me. So these are both charted in DMC. What's interesting is I chose to use the same DMC for these two and that one. So if you were to buy 
all three patterns or two of the patterns the gold color and the silver color and the white that I called for would all be um, I'll be the the same color so I called for in this one for these two I called for white and two uh, soft soft steel which is a light silver and a light brass yeah pale steel silver and light brass and um, white for the words so this is also one that you can make fancy and bougie. So where am I here? There we go. So these are charted in three DMC colors, only three. So um, again, another inexpensive um, type of pattern. I wanted to make this as budget friendly as possible because I know that as a current cross stitcher, I collect patterns and then I go and buy the thread. And then when I look at the price of the thread for a 30, 40 color piece, I'm like, and even sometimes it can get expensive with like 12 13 depending on where you go so i wanted to make sure that i made mine as budget friendly but as customizable as possible so without further ado here is part of new year say me bitch so i chose to turn the words the white into glow so when i turn the lights off you will be able to see new year say me bitch and then as far as the um the fireworks i read i did a little blurb on that okay so Basically, it's me telling you um, it's 199 stitches by 67 stitches on 14 count eight up, which is what I use. It is 14 and a half by four and three fourths inches. Um, design is charted on 14 count black eight with all three colors DMC. However, I designed this piece again to be fully customizable. Um, use whichever fabric colors, floss colors, or specialty threads speak to you. So I stitched mine on 14 count Ada and used the following thread conversion. For the B5200, I converted that to uh, glow in the dark white. Um, and then for the two, um, the 834, I changed that to a petite treasure blade called Vatican Braid. It's called Braid. Oh my God. Um, and then 3024, I changed to a petite treasure braid called Ice Pass, Ice, Ice Pastel, Pastels. Why can't I speak today? Um, so I have the two right here because I'm still working on it so these are these are them they're really soft I wanted I wanted to get so originally I bought four things and I was like I'll just use the two that work best for me but I wanted to do this one as the softer one and then I chose to use the other two for this one so I ended up using all four of the ones that I was looking at so you are welcome to use the same conversion and you are also welcome to change the fireworks completely to metallic, to crinic, if you want to use a different petite treasure braid, if you are interested in making the whole thing glow in the dark, like light effects for the fireworks as well, whatever you want to do. Again, this will also be linked, or this is also in my Etsy shop, which is, I'm feeling so long-winded about this. I'm sorry. I'm just excited, you know? I'm so proud of myself. I have three designs. Two, two completely different designs, but I have three designs, so I'm really proud of myself, so why not talk about it? Um, yeah, that's that. So I'm gonna stick this one back in the frame. So my desk is a mess as usual, but I want, also wanted to film in front of the tree. The tree's only gonna be here for a little bit. And so that is that. So now I'm gonna put my little, put my Caesar back, give you a peek at my messy desk. Ooh, yeah, look at that messy desk. Wow. That's gross. Anyways, here it is. Okay, so I have another finish right behind me. Grab it. I finished Cats Love Christmas. This is a piece by Lindy Stitches. I'm just realizing now that I did not put the whiskers on them. That is okay. I will put the whiskers on them when I get off here. Um, yeah, so Cats Love Christmas. So I stitched this and called for, um, except for, um, the white, I couldn't find Blanc at the craft store that I went to, so I switched it to probably B5200 because that's what I had and I wanted it to be bright. And then I was unable to find the called for fabric, so I went with um, Jobeline. Um, really inexpensive fabric on 123 Stitch. I got it, I got three pieces each for like $3 a piece, so the fabric cost me $9. And then I got the thread pack, which is I think week style works um but you can convert it it's convertible so it's, it's a convertible 
Um, so I did this one and this is my only other finish and it's not even a full finish because I forgot to stitch the whiskeys. Um, but that's okay. So, um, to keep them together, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the next one. It is missing. Here it is. Here we go. We've got cat eviction notice. So I'm working on it now this one. So once again, all called for except for the, um, white is now 5200 oh 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 I forgot um I accidentally made I stitched this gray cat first and I accidentally made him um one stitch down too long so he's a little fatter than he's supposed to be um so I just mirrored it with the black cat and then um I told my friend and she said they put on holiday weight so it's fine you can kind of see the cat's faces are not actually supposed to be that close but it is what it is you know um so there's that. Did I say this was stitched on 28 count? These are stitched on 28 count. Um, Joe Belline. I can't remember. It's on my Instagram. Um, yeah, that's, uh, these are them. These are two of the three designs. So, um, let's see. I also, I also started to fool with, I can't even find it. I also, I also started to fool with, um, oh, I, I decided against putting it. Did I just get a package? I decided against putting it in this video because I actually didn't stitch anything. The stitches that I did stitch got pulled out. I'm having a hard time with the fabric because it's not even weave and it's a little difficult for me to like deal with it, I guess. I don't know. Um, but I was working on to all of good night, but no progress got made on that. Literally nothing happened to it. So I'm not even going to show it. Um, let's see cats, my patterns updates on some of the things I've been working on. So this is where I am on the cryptids. This is a cryptids. This is going to be the Yeti. Um, so literally nothing's changed since last week other than I started on some, some of the border for the Yeti. So this is stitched on 14 count Ada that I dyed myself. Um, I went for a neon green. Let me see if I can find it. There's so much happening right here. Okay, so um, since the last time I filmed, um, I think Yeti was definitely released. And then we also released a hool. My patterns are all black and white. A hool. A hool. Anyways. That is the latest. I will get another one released tomorrow. Um, so obviously I'm quite behind. Um, but if you're new to my channel, this is 14 count Ada that I hand dyed myself. Um, I'm using all of the called for except for I did a little bit of changing to um, the jackalope. I chose to do him in grays. Also, all of my skulls are glow in the dark. Um, and then as far as for the Yeti, I have a plan, a tentative plan. I'll see how stitching with these items work. Um, I'm going to... First of all, I'm going to convert him to fully white instead of off white. I'll be doing um, grays and whites probably for it. Yeah, because he's stitched in 739, which is like an off white, and that's not what I was going for. If he's the Yeti, he's the Yeti, you know? I'm also going to convert the um, snowflakes on the side to one of these two floss babies. Let me find something that's black to show it on. Okay. Um, these are metallic floss. I haven't stitched with them in the past, so we'll see how that goes. If I absolutely hate them, if I absolutely despise them, I got these from Hobby Lobby, I think. Um, yeah, I think so. They feel very wiry, so they feel, um, gosh, not to, not to put people down here, but... They feel like a lesser high quality, less high quality version of the Petite Treasure Blade, which I believe is what it is. The metallic floss is 
Well, it might not be that bad. I don't know. Maybe I'm just judging. It's polyester, so there's that. Um, but I did get these two options. I haven't decided which one I will go with. It really depends on once I get um, the Yeti stitch, which I've overcommitted again. I want to get so much done for Christmas that it's not even funny. So we'll see what happens. But um, anyways, so, oh, did I show you where it was last time? If I didn't, I think I, well, I hope, I put the picture in. I just don't know. Hopefully I put the picture in. If I haven't put the picture in, now's a good time to do so. Okay, I'm preemptively stopping it so I can remember to put the picture in, but that is where I was then, and here is where I am now. Um, literally nothing's been done except for the, the black border. I did stitch on this for a little bit. Not, not super long though. Okay, next. I don't actually know. I wasn't able to fully see if I was, if I had made too, too much progress on this. Um, but just in case, here is where I was before. Here is where I am now. I don't think any progress has been made, but I did just want to include it because just in case, right? Um, this is uh, Lindy Stitch's uh, Raven Seedle book. Um, it's a kit. It's a finishing kit. It's going to be when I'm done, it'll be a legitimate needle book. So there's that. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What else? What else? What else? Um, I think that's it. I went over everything. I got the two things that I worked on that weren't my patterns before I worked on my patterns. And then after I worked on my patterns, I got, you know, in the Christmas spirit. So that's why I got kind of far behind on the cryptids. Last week was a week off, right? Yeah. So I will have, oh my gosh, I haven't stitched on this in that long. I'm gonna have three cryptids. Okay. Well, that overwhelmed me a little bit, but that's okay, that's okay. So, acquisitions, what have I acquired? So, I have a mess in front of me. That's what I've done, I've acquired a mess. Um, I have acquired, where is it? So, not advent related, I'll start there. So, I acquired this. It's Christmas cat. Do I have any intents to start it and complete it in the month of December? No. Why did I buy it, you might ask? It was on sale. And I really liked Halloween cat, which I also have not worked on. I do have all the floss for it, though, so I could start that at any time, but I'll, I'll start that after Christmas. Um, so, it is very similar to the... Uh, Christmas cat and that when you this is the front no, this is the front this is the back pattern is on the inside and we have the um, chart and the um, the color the colors so two metallic flosses from DMC so I will have to pick those up in order to stitch them so that is what the sort of tinsel-esque thing and the stars are on this pattern is metallic so hopefully I like it okay had an issue back at it okay advents now so I acquired three cross stitch advent calendars in time for December um, they're all spread out and covered with stuff so let's just let's start with we'll start with probably what I think is probably the most well known and that is the uh, stitchy box, bash box. Um, what did I do with that paper? There it is. There we go. Uh, stitchy box, bash box, 2021 Christmas bash box. Hey there, thank you for, thank you so much for joining us for our Christmas bash box. Enclosed are 25 packages, all labeled a, a day number. Please start with day one. I hope you will enjoy opening these packages as much as I have enjoyed selecting them for you. 
Uh, if you will be sharing unboxing photos on social media, please include the hashtag, hashtag Stitchybox so we can see it. I can't wait to see all the awesome stuff you make with all the stitchy goodness in this box. Happy stitching, Liz. So, I'm reserving all of my judgments for it because um, I'll be honest, what I paid for this, it was, this was a little disappointing. But, but as I said in yesterday's floss, uh, Vlogmas, which if you're not following my Vlogmas, what are you doing? Um, I'm reserving all judgments because I feel like I just, I don't know. So I'm seeing a lot of pieces like this. This is probably a fabric. Um, I don't know, these could be, these could be patterns or they could be stickers. And if they're stickers, I'll probably cry. Um, here's another one of these pieces, which again, could be a pattern, could be a sticker. And then I'm fairly certain that day 22 will be a pattern. So could be could be um a potential of five five patterns one fabric this probably feels like some uh floss i don't know what this feels like i don't want to sit here and like judge it yet oh here's another one that could be a sticker i don't want to judge it yet you know i want i'm, I'm a little disappointed um by day one um, i don't know i don't know if i'm disappointed so much as don't know what i'm gonna do with it so let us let us talk about what I got in day one and day two first. So, um, so I will do day one first. So I'm gonna do these in order. So that was Stitchy Box. This is what I got in day one. This is called Co Cozy Cabin. It is a 25 yard skein of 24 yard skein of special edition flower silk. So, um, like I said, I just don't know if I know what I'm gonna do with it to be honest. It looks like Baby Yoda. I made this comparison yesterday. Come here. Come here, Baby Yoda. Come on. Come to the party. It looks like Baby Yoda, right? This is what I'm calling Baby Yoda silk. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll stitch like, I don't know, Baby Yoda stuff. So the thing is, is this variegated. I'm sure you knew that. I'm sure you know what variegated floss is if you're on floss tube, but so I like how he's just my backdrop now. He's been here for a while. Um, he was in all of my vlogmas so far. Shh, 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 shh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know how to turn it off. It's my child's toy. Um, but it variegates through the, the creams, the tans, the greens, the browns. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but that is um, Stitchy Box, Bash Box, Day one. Still, still unsure, unsure. Reserving thoughts. So day two was a little cooler in my opinion. I kind of enjoyed these. These are floss hugs. I think that's what they said they were called. I guess I should have had the paper ready. And to be fair, I did technically have the paper ready. I just had it ready for Vlogmas, <laughs> not floss two. And I have crap ton of other stuff in front of me. All right, that's enough. Who cares? Let's get to this. Okay. There are 10 of them with a total of five different designs. So there will be two of each design. And then they also came with some stickers to label them with your DMC or um, whatever floss you're using. Um, I'm going to let you see that while I attempt to look for these. Hopefully it's focused. What did I do with Day two's bag. What the heck? I'll find it later. It's it's unimportant, I guess. Um, I did want to mention who the who the designer of these things were, though. Oh, here we go. Came in this bag. I found the bag, but I didn't find the little envelope that was inside of it. And I have created a mess. Anybody who films floss tubes, you know. You know, you know what I'm dealing with. A whole entire mess here on the floor. Oh my gosh. Well, if I, I'll put it, I'll link it. I'll put, I'll um, throw it up across the screen right here. Right here, okay. 
So, sorry, I'm preemptively pausing so that I know the breaks are where I insert stuff. If I'm, I'm using stop start editing because I work an overnight tonight and I'm not about to sit here and edit this video all day long. Sorry, I love you, but not that much. I work an overnight tonight and I have to sleep before I do that. So this was day two, day two. Okay, so day one of, nope, where to go? Here it is, okay. This is the uh, Yule Ball Forbidden Fibers uh, Mystery Stitch Along. The designer of the pattern is Bendy Stitchy, Michelle Bendy Stitchy. So this was day one. We got day one was our fabric. This is called Mythical. Um, it says, while dreaming up the thread colors for this pattern, we wanted to create a fabric with subtle coloring so it would enhance your pattern, pattern rather than enhance your project rather than diminish it. We feel like we are able to do just that with our new colorway, Mythical. So, Mythical. And day two, every other day you're getting a piece of the pattern and you'll get an extra. So, fabric was day one, pattern, and this floss was day two. So, the pattern came in this envelope with the floss in it. By the way, I wanted to mention really quickly, I am obsessed with the packaging for this stuff. Where is my packaging? Whatever, I'll just grab one of these. I really like these, I like them. Uh, so this is day one and the pattern is day two. So I have the pattern right here. Obviously I can't show you it, um, but we're, I guess we're doing it one color at a time, which is pretty neat to me. I've never done one color at a time before, whether it's on diamond painting or stitching. So that should be pretty fun. This is going to be um, approximately 180-ish wide and 80 long. So it's going to be a piece that will go this way. Hopefully I have enough. I'm worried now. I got 25 count Lugana. Yeah, 25 count Lugana. All right, I can't even do the math right now because I'm on my phone, but I'll do the math before I start stitching. So day one, or day two rather, day two, is to stitch with, this one is called Diamond. It's number 18, it's called Diamond. It's a very pretty color. Um, it's like a, it's like a, a, a grayish white. Like it's a, it's a soft, it's very soft, it's very soft. Um, and then the uh, things that I will stitch with this will be um, basically frost in the air. Mm, this is kind of going to be hard for me. <laughs> I'm looking at it and I'm already very, in, very, mm, because the middle, because the, the frost is spread out and I have a hard time counting. I have a hard time counting all of the time. <clears throat> oh no, I just got my pattern wet. Oh no. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. So that was that. That is day one and two of Stitchy Box and Bash Box. So the final acquisition is this. This is another cross stitch advent calendar. Those two are 25 days. This one is 12. Well, 13. There's an extra thing in here. So I'll open the extra thing on Christmas. Um, but this is Innocent Bones. This is a cross stitch calendar by Innocent Bones. Um, I've already opened it, but I haven't opened it, you know what I mean? I'll wait until those days, but this is how it comes. So they've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It is right here. Oh, that's six right there. And then that's eight. Just kidding. And then uh, 10, 11, 12 must be on the bottom. And then I've got an extra tree. And that is the extra treat that I will open on Christmas. So I have that one and this will start on the 12th, I think we decided. Yeah, the 12th. Where do my ribbon go? I don't know. I've got a couple other advent calendars but they're not cross stitch related so I won't include them. If you're interested in seeing what they are, remember I'm doing Vlogmas, hello, follow me. Just kidding, no, but no, but seriously, I'm doing a lot this year um, for no reason. Just because I love you and I love I love the plan that I'm that I patched and have executed. I'm really proud of it. So 
if you are interested in finding out, if you have mental health issues and you struggle with mental health issues and you're not triggered by somebody else talking about and just being open about it, you should definitely follow my Vlogmas because that's what it's all about. So plans, stitching plans. I'm going to do um, this tonight probably at work because I'm working an overnight. Um, I also would like to potentially, if I have enough time, I would like to um, work on so much stuff everywhere right now. Oh my God. I would like to potentially finish up um, cat eviction notice. There's not too much left to go. Um, just the tree, well, I guess just half the pattern and the bulkiest part of the pattern. Um, Cause it's all pretty much full stitching rather than, well, that doesn't look too, too bad. I don't know. I'm hoping I can get this done tonight. So plan, plans are this and I lost the fabric again. This and this. And if I get these things done, maybe I'll pull out the Yeti um, for tonight. Um, overall plans, um, follow through with this pattern thing, the mystery cell. Oh my God, this is such a long winded video. This is gonna take forever to upload. I would like to finish these. Excuse me, sorry, I just got an ice. I'd like to finish these. And I would like to finish or start um, December dance, which is, I'll get it, I'll get it, hold on. I didn't realize my foot had fallen asleep, so I had to walk really carefully so I didn't fall down. Um, this is December dance. There are two in here. It's a, it's a finishing kit for this one, So, but I would like to stitch both of them. I have all of the DMC for them already ready to go. I would also like to potentially work on this one. Um, this one is stitched in Weeks Dye Works and DMC. I have all of the called for threads and I would like to stitch this. I'm also going to stitch an uncalled for. I'm also stitching this one uncalled for. So with Lindy's stitches patterns, I tend to pick up whatever fabric she's calling for. Um, with everything else, I've been able to adapt and dye something my own. I don't know if I'm giving her preferential treatment, <laughs> probably. Um, but these are, these are the plans. This one, this one, work on, finish these, potentially. I don't know, that's pretty solid stitching. Work on these work on this, finish these, catch up, and this. That's a lot of plans. Oh, and I also want to design, I have a challenge right now, go watch my floss tube, my vlogmas, go watch my vlogmas, but I'm in the middle of a challenge right now where I'm designing a cross stitch pattern, like I'm getting ready to do it right now. So, um, I just want to do that. Those are my plans. Whining aside, let me do this thumbnail real quickly so that I have a cute thumbnail with my patterns so that I have a cute thumbnail with my patterns. Oh, I gotta pop this thing out again. Damn. Anyways, while we're, <laughs> while I'm popping this out again, I'm going to break this frame. Um, I'm going to close out. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like me, I would like to see it more from me. Um, hit subscribe, but also watch my vlogmas because you're going to get too much of me. <laughs> um, hit subscribe. I would be so happy to have you. All right. I hope that you are. Sorry. Being safe. Wash your hands. Take care of yourselves.